In this video, I'm going to show you the rear space in the Model X when you have seats well configured in different positions. So uh, let's start with uh, the first case where this is uh, adjusted for me. I'm 170 centimeters high, uh, 73, sorry. That's uh, whatever, five something. Uh, five and five eight, I think, in the imperial system. But anyway, so um, if you have the seats like this, and you want to carry some large items uh, you can push this one you will notice that when I push this the seat also the front seat also moves slightly well actually it doesn't oh sorry sorry it doesn't it doesn't you will only move forward if this seat is moved backwards uh, more than the back for large people but you see here this is like the the <laughs> the front most position for the second row and we're gonna do the same thing for the other side here uh, this is going to be a long video because I have lots, lots to explain. Um, so you see, now both of these two are all the way in the front, and this one can't be adjusted. This the middle one can't be pushed further ahead. Let me see. There's, there's this. Oh shit! Uh, there's this button under here. I'll try to feel it. Uh, it can go backwards a little bit, so it is supposedly all the way to the front now already oh, oh, oh. Uh, front, 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 front yeah okay down 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 like that and you see so this is like the maximum storage space in mall x which is not very good so um i can already say now that the mall x is not good for nimble tasks the mall x is not good for carrying large items it is more like a pure people carrier. So I'm gonna show you how now in the back here. So the maximum length you can load in here. Uh, I try not to scratch the, the surface there, but you see 150 centimeters or about five feet. Isn't it? Five nine? Is that how you read it? She I'm a noob. But 150 centimeters? Yeah. Um that's not 5'9", uh, 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 it actually says yeah, 59, um, that's 5 feet, yeah, 59 um, uh, inches, that's that's 60 inches, so almost uh, 5 feet, yeah, I would say. On that side, uh, same on the other side, yeah, I don't have to show you that, but you see the middle one, the middle one, oh, shit, shit. Oh, you how, okay, but the middle area, is blocked by that seat and I've shown you that you can't push it further in the front and you see here this one is approximately 120 centimeters or uh, 48 inches uh, yeah well, fortunately for me I did go for the six seat configuration so that the middle one is not there but for seven seat you will have pretty limited space here because then you can't fit well, it depends on the, the shape of the, the item, I guess, but you see, this, this is also another reason why you shouldn't get the, the seven seat configuration unless you really need all the seven seats. Um, so, all right, I'm gonna show you another uh, case where, um, let's say your name is Morgan and you are uh, over six feet uh, long. Oh, oh. I have to be careful with this one. Okay, I'm gonna push this one all the way to the back again, like this. All right, but what happens now if you push this seat all the way in the back, like Morgan probably would. Uh, like this, hey, there, okay. This is kind of weird because <laughs> the headrest didn't adjust up for some reason. That is weird. Maybe, uh, it could be because um, the doors are open and all that stuff. Let me try to sit now and close the door. See if something happens. Huh. All right, whatever. We're not gonna cover that in this video. But anyway, the seat is now very far back, you see, compared to the other seat there. Yeah. And what happens now is that <laughs> if you want to have storage space in the back, you push this one, you see, the front also pushes forward. Yeah, so that means if you are very tall, and you want to carry long items, then there is you have to do this compromise where uh, 
Okay, let's push this one back again. You see it goes, it follows the same position it has. That's good. Um, you can only do this. Because if you press that button there, this one and this one doesn't work the same. This one will also push the front. Whereas this one will only adjust this seat. Let me show you here. You see? I can adjust it as far as I can, but it, it will only go here. Yeah, it won't go all the way to the front, but like this button will. So, this is like the best solution. Uh, you can also try to tilt it maybe as much as possible to get more space. But even still, you will see now that the space in the back is, let's see, okay, okay yeah. they almost touches it. This is only 120 centimeters, yeah, 47 inches. So that is not much at all. Um, I also tried something else. I'll show you what happens if you push this one like this. Okay. Uh, to get well, it's like a. I guess it's like a work, like a, like a trick, a workaround. If you push that one. See now, this one won't do anything because you are in the like, like in the state where you're supposed to enter, exit the third row. So <laughs> this one is disabled, and but you can still use this one. Of course, this is a demo effect because I did try it when before I shot the video. Let me try to close the door. Oh yeah, yeah of course. This is the trick. You have to push forward first. And then you are allowed to push backwards. I'm gonna show you now. Sorry for the bump, shaky video. Uh, <laughs> what's gonna happen now when I push this is that you you force the seat towards second row, and it doesn't stop. There seems like there's no sensor for it. So you could I don't know. Is I don't want to go further, but you see, it's like a weird workaround, I guess. But is that optimal? Um, okay, you have slightly more. This I feel that this position is slightly further back than my my usual position. So it's like a weird workaround. Where okay, I guess I guess it would work for for short trips. But if you use it like this, uh, this one will still be 120 centimeters. No, it's sorry, um, 150 centimeters. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you see. Um, so that, <laughs> I don't know, um, I just, the more I know about this car, the more and more I dislike the third row, I mean sorry, the, 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 the seventh seat. It is in the way, because even if it wasn't there, then you, at least you could put 150 centimeters items in here. Um, well, I don't need to show you now, but I did measure the width of this uh, trunk. It is uh, at least from here to here is uh, 95 centimeters or about three feet and this area is slightly larger it's about 100 centimeters but you see it has limited space and also the, the let me see, let me, see. Uh, let me just uh, close this one oh. okay and I also did measure some stuff under here so the same here, this one is also 100 centimeters, and then um, uh, the depth here is actually, I think I'll check it out, oh, actually I did, I did measure it, didn't I? Didn't I? Uh, it's supposed to be about 45 centimeters or, um, or one and a half feet, so it's pretty deep, but uh, you know what, I'm a bit disappointed, because um, the space in here is not as good as a Model S because these seats can't be folded if they could fold and if the headrest could fold like most other cars could do then yeah this one would be a space killer but as of now it isn't okay there's one more thing I have to test and measure which is the the total height uh, up to the roof let me see I'm gonna try to do this with one hand can I do that can I do that Again, I am on vacation, so I don't have any 
uh, possibilities to uh, to um, edit the video. So I have to just shoot and upload upload the raw video. So now I'm going to measure. Well, okay, okay. Uh, can I do this <laughs> without? Uh, uh, can I do this? I'm I'm a noob because obviously my name is not Jürgen with the Larsen. Yeah, so I don't know how to do this, but I can uh, estimate. Okay, it's about 70 centimeters, the maximum loading height here, and um, that is actually <laughs> the same as the Model S. And you know why? Because the third row seat here steals a lot of height. And another thing I noticed is that the loading height here on the Model X is Oh, it's it's about 75 centimeters or 30 inches and that is a lot higher than the Model S again because we have stuff loading stuff in here hmm, yeah okay uh, I, will, <laughs> I guess I will do more measurements later but uh, that's it for now